Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm pretty sure you already knew what game we were gonna play based on the title, the thumbnail, and the fact that uh, this is probably represents like 40% of the content that I produce. <laughs> what a weird world. Alright, it is this day, and this is the seed. Two Burger Kings, yes? Question. One. Uh, 14 dicks? Two Burger Kings, yes, question 14 dicks. Always, you don't question 13 dicks, they know what they're doing. But if you got uh, 14 dicks, you gotta be like, whoa, 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 what's up with this arbitrary number? Anyway, this floor has immediately made me wish that there's the 10 bombs item in here. There's not, but there's an all stats upgrade, which if we're being honest is probably better. But look at this, Tinted Rock, 10 cents, actually we could get 13. And then we could pick up another 14 right here, so we could get up to like almost 30 cents if we could just pick up a couple of bombs. Maybe even get the secret room out of it as well. Some of the most like efficient bomb placement uh, or returns on investment for our bombs that I've ever seen before. Theoretically, we don't know 100%. Maybe we we'll get a black market out of his out of it as well, and the black market will give us nuns habit and the steam sale and all sorts of good stuff that allows us to get in the horror Babylon state and stay there. I thought maybe we'd be able to pick up the uh, secret room as a result of that or second secret room, but. In hindsight, that seemed pretty unlikely to begin with, I guess. Probably should have just kept myself at bay. If I only get to choose one of these, I will go for the money, I think. Just because it's so much. Oh, we did get a bomb in the process here. Uh, just because it's so much. I really doubt this will be the secret room, but you do get like one extra penny out of this. So we'll take a crack at it. And that certainly makes our shop worthwhile. Where we could probably buy another bomb for five cents and then work it out, but um, we'll, we'll see because I would absolutely love to be able to get that tinted rock as well. Put my oh yes, that's awesome. Put myself in that horror Babylon state and then um, just stay there and ball out of control with the damage that we have. Figured we might as well try that once. In fact, we can probably do it one more time too. All right, pennies, yes, and a spirit heart as well. So we actually are gonna. Get into the Horror of Babylon state. Pick that up. This is really good. Golden key, uh, maybe not that extremely important off the off the bat here, but it is worthwhile. No question about that. We can buy a bomb. I feel like we have to buy a bomb. And then, as much as I hate to do this, ah, uh, we don't need to do this. Okay, I, I understand now. We have that was terrible damage. We have a... Uh, was there a spirit heart in there? I certainly hope not. I think. Um, we have Burnt Penny, so if we put a bomb down right here, we should be able to pick up at least one bomb out of this. Yeah, there's one right there. We got... Oh, no, 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 okay, a troll bomb could have been a little dangerous there. Then we can come back here and blow this up, and if it's spirit hearts... It's not. Ah, but it is Guppy's head, okay. Well, it, it still worked out. HP-wise, we're in a little bit of a tricky situation. But not, not too, too bad. Damage wise is amazing. We got a great trinket. We got a lot of money. I didn't even look for at what was for sale on that shop. I might be making a big mistake by not taking something, but I'm pretty sure we're just gonna head down to the next floor right away because I fucking hate that spike room that precedes the shop. And we're doing a lot of damage right now. This is largely just a result of a really yeah, I'll take it. It's largely just the result of a really, really good first floor, especially when it comes to consumables and their ilk, but still. Uh, we, we have a little bit of stuff to worry about here. Largely, it, it just comes down to don't completely mess it up by picking up some red hearts. That's I hate playing as Eve in a situation where you actually do have empty red heart containers because you've always got to stay on guard like you're a swordfish from the Donkey Kong Country franchise. Making sure that you uh, don't pick up any red hearts that are not explicitly desirable. Although on this floor, we actually accidentally... Like, not intentionally for once, but although it's a good thing, spawned an arcade. So we can go to our blood bank and make uh, make that happen in case we pick up some red hearts. And we may want to pick up some red hearts in order to make it happen. I don't really want IV bag. I'm Like, I'm pretty fond of Guppy's head. Oh, it's not quite done yet. I'm pretty fond of Guppy's head. I, I don't want to get rid of that for IV bag if there's the, the possibility for me to just, you know, not take... Uh, Red hearts. There was a spirit heart here. Where did it end up going? Oh, I picked it up right there. It was underneath me. Okay. We actually af can afford to come in here once, and really, I just want to pick up a lot of bombs out of the situation. Yeah, there we go. So we got two extra bombs. 
In fact, why don't we try to turn those into even more bombs? We'll hedge our bets a little bit here. Okay, that worked out. And we got more keys, which means we can now open this golden chest. On this golden chest, I would expect to pick up uh, at least bombs or pennies, basically. So we can afford to come down here and make this happen. And we did get a bomb and a spirit heart. That's a good turn of events there. And we still have one key that we can use to get to our shop. So I'm feeling a lot better about our chances for survival now. And this is the kind of... Uh, it, it's basically your ideal Eve situation. Easy to stay in the Whore of Babylon state. Um, we're, we're getting a lot of positive stuff happening for us right now. And we have a deal with the Devil coming up that might allow us to leverage the HP we're not using anyway for more damage or you know the ability to fly or something like that. Other stuff that would be exceptionally useful for us as time goes on here. So definitely we've started off on the right foot for an Eve run here. I'm going to spend a little bit of money on here. I mean, we could probably afford to pick up those red hearts and or that red heart and make it, you know, work for us, but I'm not overly concerned about, you know, trying to farm our blood bank to get a blood bag cuz that's actually a little deleterious for us, but we would get some bombs out of it. It's all good though. We're starting to get out of control on bombs anyway. In a good way. Good out of control. So we'll try one bomb there, maybe a second secret room here, although I very much doubt it. And oh, there was a troll bomb that spawns. And that's a little bit more money and some keys as well. All right. Very lucky that we're fighting against Pin. I mean, we would have done fine against the Haunt as well, I'm sure. We're, we're doing very, very well right now, but it's nice to have to fight Pin instead. Safety Pin? Eh, it's okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, we will take advantage of this. I mean, we might as well, if we're going to take Brimstone, we might as well take the Shovel and use it once. And it did actually give us a Black Market, which is extremely rare. Guppy's head is a little bit more useful. This is probably a one run right now. It gave us a crawl space, not a black market, but um, it's probably a one run right now. Brimstone don't show up that often anymore, so I'm not uh, feeling like, oh, I should do you try to sandbag myself, you know, not take uh, an item that's actually really good. This is definitely a, a crazy good start. Especially considering the money we have, uh, I, I think it's not going to be a problem at all to buy uh, more spirit hearts should we need them. But also, we should be able to have a good chance to pick up things like the map and the compass. And just, uh, you know, if we wanted to maybe turn this into a pseudo speed run, which almost never ends up turning out for the best for me, we could give it a try. We'll see, though. Also, a pretty good chance of becoming Guppy on this run. I mean, you know, we, we've only barely gotten started there, but that's still pretty good considering the relatively early stage of the game that we're at. A little surprised that we didn't get the kill there right out, but... That's okay. That was my fault there, actually. Those flies killed that thing before I even noticed that we would uh, have an issue. Might as well go through with this. The extra spirit heart is kind of crazy. I do tend to find, you know, as much as people can complain about Isaac, you know, deliberately fucking with you. I don't know if this is true, but when I'm rolling exclusively on spirit hearts, I tend to think that I get spirit hearts more often. I don't know if that's some kind of observation bias or something like that, but uh, either way, it does seem to happen. Uh, and... You know, seeming to happen is important, because if it seems to happen, that, that plays into my morale, man. My morale mushrooms. Gonna quickly pop into our item room. Concussive Tears it comes with a small damage upgrade, which is uh, an acceptable pickup for us to be sure. What I'm looking for from a shop now, uh, apart from Map and Compass, I would love to see Hive Mind. We're lucky that we had enough keys, by the way, to not have to worry about the fact that we did get suckered into a library. Not that, <laughs> I guess they're always bad. What do you think about blank card? I think on a run like this, we have to, um, we have to start playing a little bit more randomly just to try to get absurd synergies. So we'll take blank card. Uh, for, for entertainment value, it's not immediately useful for us, but we, we can't take blank card plus a little baggy, by the way. That would just be not very smart. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of Guppy's head, take blank card, and hope for some, like, Yera, Perthro rune madness that we can encounter a little bit later. Hopefully. Or just get like a hero font card or something like that. Yes, we will take this. We're lucky. We can take the uh, the magic mushroom, get the stupid damage increase as a result. Really insanely good luck on this seed so far. And uh, on top of just, you know, oh, didn't mean to play that. On top of just getting the advantage out of it, uh, we won't lose Horror Babylon, which is kind of surprising. So we got an extra spirit heart there, and we'll try to play Demon Judgment as much as we can, and then... We'll probably come back to that situation. There's a lot of good stuff going on in there. I don't know. I actually am... I guess I have to go paperclip at this point. I like Burnt Penny, but we're already at 12 bombs. We're only at 4 keys. 
We don't have Guppy's uh, tail or anything like that, so I wouldn't expect to be encountering a ton of uh, of golden chests, but our rate of fire is a little slower than I'd like there. Um, if we do encounter a ton of golden chests, we can now open them guilt-free, so that's fine. And there's another key for us anyway. Also, I mean, I feel like I say this a lot, but if we could pick up, like, Black Candle, that would be great. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. We actually got a Spirit Heart out of that, which is kind of ridiculously lucky. But being able to use a Justice card every four rooms will solve probably literally any potential uh, consumable problems we could possibly have on this run. And if we could pick up 9 Volt, that would just make it insanely good as well. Basically, what I'm getting at is, apparently, any shop item is totally okay for us. <laughs> and that's... I mean, I'm poking fun at myself, but it's also literally true because everything else on the run is going so well that it really doesn't matter uh, what we pick up, we're going to be totally okay. Uh, we're going to keep trying to explore. We've already been there, okay. Uh, we will go back to our arcade and uh, accomplish whatever we can there. But just bear with me here for a moment. I'd like to explore like the entirety of the floor first, just so we know what we're getting ourselves into. Who knows, maybe there's a room with like two Demon Judgments on it that we'd rather give our Red Hearts to. I really doubt that that is going to be the case, but I've been surprised before. 99 bombs. Well, now we definitely don't need Burnt Penny, I'll tell you that much. A sad bomb pickup would be lovely, though. one shot in Keepers, uh, at least, you know, non-champion Keepers, is a pretty awesome thing to be able to... To point to as a, a strength because those guys have some of the highest HP that you can actually encounter back here. Not that I'm surprised that we're doing so much damage. That would just be, you know, that would be intellectually dishonest. <laughs> we have Brimstone Horror Babylon that's actually working and Magic Mushroom as well. So yes, things are going pretty okay. But it is always nice to be able to say like, hey, concretely, there's an enemy who's super annoying and we, you know, to put it politely, killed them. I mean, it's sad that that's the most polite thing I could say, but people would probably get, you know, more bent out of shape by the other stuff that could possibly go into that space. Anyway. We'll put a uh, bomb down there. I'm hoping for Small Rock at this point. Maybe we can just get all the damage multiplier increases. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, Small Rock is not a damage multiplier increase. My mistake. Kind of bummed out that we keep seeing broken stopwatch. Very stupid of me. Not that it is a bad item. It's not even like a an item that's too good. It's just an item that's kind of like, you know, I, I don't like getting it. I like to have some guaranteed effects, except for $3 bill. And this is really where this game is going to get insane, I think. The Fallen can't give us HP, so we will be able to trade whatever we get back for a deal with the Devil, unless it's Krampus here. Uh, and that's going to be our second Guppy item. And now we're not going to go back to the Demon Judgment, because we already uh, went through this. We, we don't have any extra HP. But that's insane. We picked up even more damage. We're one item away from becoming Guppy. I'll be straight with you. This run is is one. There's almost no conceivable way that this will be a, a run that ends up being a loss. I would be very... We have Brimstone. Incredibly high damage upgrades already. And I would be surprised if we didn't become Guppy. I mean that sincerely. I'm trying to warn you. If you're the kind of person who hates to see me win, you're not going to like the rest of this run. This one is almost unlosable at this point. What did I tell you? I warned you! Don't say I didn't warn you, but two seconds ago I said, hey, we're going to be balling out of control, the likes of which have rarely been seen. Now, it would be awesome if we can get a teleportation card, but to be honest with you, I am open to the idea of just doing boss rush as well. This is our final um, our final floor before the womb, which is kind of crazy, the this, this speed at which we have reached this point. I should have probably done that a little earlier. I forgot that we had a full charge on it, but um, it's it's kind of insane. I hope it continues to get more and more insane in the future. That luck downgrade is kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever. We still don't have Guppy's Tail. A little bit of a surprise. Don't... Like, every time. There's no excuse to get hit by these guys this time. i to fly over here, open this bad boy up, and that's pretty good. I mean, we could go back for the bomb, but we don't need to because we have 99 of them. I'm not sure if uh, everyone remembers that. That guy is very nearly going to pay out. I can feel it. I've got a kindred connection with these demon judgments. I know what they're thinking, you know. I understand marketing. And they're just trying to keep me hooked right now, but then they're going to be like, all right. All right, we already milked him a little bit. We, we all got our money's worth here. Let's blow these up and see if we can 
start to pick up some interesting tarot cards. Strength is not necessarily an interesting tarot card. Not the worst idea to use that on Demon Judgment, though. Yeah, let's start cracking these. Honestly, I know it looks like that was not worth it, but I'm actually just happy to have a half red heart so we can go back to that Demon Judgment quickly. It's a little bit of a, you know, if, if I didn't have a, a Demon Judgment on this floor, I'd be like, what am I wasting my time with? But because we do have a Demon Judgment, it's very simple. Oh, man, even our flies are doing, like, one full section of uh, the uh, fatty HP instantly. It's crazy. Still not quite, you know, best run ever territory. Wow. Uh, but it's it's in there, you know. We're, we're getting not too far away from it, I'll tell you that much. Where's our Demon Judgment? Why doesn't he show up on the map? Alright, another pill. Thank you for not taking me to the I Am Error room and completely ruining the run. I appreciate that. We probably shouldn't be taking pills on, until we know that we're safe and insulated from those effects to begin with, but, you know. What are the odds, right? <laughs> the odds are, are good enough that it occasionally happens, admittedly, but... I think I heard something... No? Well, we got a tarot card there. Maybe tarot cards don't make a sound anyway. What do you think? I, I think the world card is a little bit better than than justice, to be honest with you. When we have a, a decent amount of consumables anyway. This way we can very easily see where we should be going. Basically like having the map and compass without having to buy them, which is good because I've got a sneaking suspicion that we're going to fight greed on this run. Oh, we don't have a red heart yet. You know what? Fuck it. What do we care? We've got... A, a pretty staggering amount of spirit hearts to begin with. We might as well just get him to pay out. Give us the devil card. Devil card once every four rooms? I, I do kind of like that. Maybe even a little bit more so than the world card. Lover's card? We, we'll just use. I'm not going to use... Uh... Wow, I can't believe I got hit twice there. Uh, I'm not going to use that with blank card. Wow, this guy's going to rake me over the coals here. And we only got coin purse out of it. That's disappointing. Tears down. I found pills. Pretty fly. All right, so the question becomes, was that all worth it for a, uh, a pretty fly? I'd say the answer to that question is probably no, but at the same time, you know, if, if you're Bill Gates, are you going to get mad over wasting $100,000? $100,000 is a lot. Like, three spirit hearts is a lot to spend on a pretty fly uh, and, and some, you know, attribute downgrades. Um, but we, we're balling out of control, so it doesn't really matter. Blue Baby's only friend. With Brimstone seems uh, kind of terrible, but without a reroll, there's not much we can do about it anyway. 15 minutes here, so we're still making great time. Monster Manuel. I will never call it Monster Manual. I know the typo's been fixed, but this isn't a rub it in the face of the, the people that, you know, made the original Binding of Isaac. It's rather just, it's a nice little throwback, I hope. All right, we're going to take Fanny Pack. I don't know why they consistently want to give me freaking little baggy. We had Broken Stopwatch show up in two shops, and then we had Little Baggy show up in two shops. That's horse hockey. Once we've seen it, it should disappear. Just my two cents. So we're spending all of our money here that we actually can, and we'll move along. We actually did uh, turn a profit on our donation machine there, which is something that I have not consistently done recently. So I, I feel good about that. You know, I'm starting to feel a little self-conscious about my donation machine. I don't think there's any reason not to use two of diamonds twice, I guess. But we'll stick with the devil card from this point onwards. We do still have a decent amount of floor left to cover. The only question is, what's the point in covering it? Maybe we'd be better off just going to fight our boss early. Ah, uh, we should look. We got the time, and we might be able to find a teleportation card to make me feel better about the whole thing. Now, I would do... Or, I will admit... Oh, this is good. That I don't really have, uh... Maybe we will roll with the devil card, blank card. There's some interesting kind of... Ah, that was silly. There's some interesting kind of situations that can result as a result of that. Anyway. Um... The, the thing that I was about to say literally just became irrelevant once we picked up that judgment card. I was like, I don't want to use the devil card even though we have the battery. I'm going to suffer a little bit from too good to use syndrome. But with the judgment, we can make some interesting stuff happen. It's, it's too bad we didn't pick up like a... Humbling bundle or something like that. That would just make it even more ridiculous. But yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll uh, take the judgment card with me. We've used this effectively before on earlier runs. Uh, 
And you know, you never know when you might need a demon judgment to show up and use that demon judgment to get back into the Whore of Babylon state. I don't want that HP, but now we know. But mostly, you know, I would give up a, a judgment card here for a Yara rune, maybe a Perthrow rune, haven't really thought about that. Definitely a Yara rune though. But I'm not going to blow, even though we have so many bombs, I'm not going to blow up every single uh, skull just because it's a little tedious. And we got another little bit of money to spend on this fine gentleman right here. Hopefully he pays out with like a, I mean, I guess like a compass or something would be okay. Yeah, map, that's that's pretty much exactly what I asked for. Uh, we've already been to our secret room on this floor. All right. I'm very sorry about this, Loki. Didn't really go anywhere there. What about this card, though? What about this card, though? Hanged man. Well, once every four rooms ability to fly, not that meaningful. I botched this one somewhat miserably. There we go. If we can time it so that Blue Baby's only friend falls on the uh, falls on the boss at the same time the Brimstone shot lands, that's huge. But otherwise, uh, I, can you? I'm gonna take one run off from the D100. All right. I've been using it so much that it's no longer, and all these other items suck. But I've been using it so much that it's no longer. A novelty to me. It's showing up like once every three runs. I like it more as like a once every ten runs type item. I know some people are going to be uh, a little pissed off by that. I think that's going to be Mr. Fred down there on the bottom left. Just my prediction. I know some people are going to be a little bit pissed off by that. Oh well, basically. I reserve the right to occasionally uh, deliberately ball out of control, I think. So I'm not going to use uh, Judgment quite yet. Although, to, to be frank, what we should probably do is use Judgment and then just blow them up. Or we could use them all in the same room and try to play them all at the same time, just in case they're Demon Judgments. But this way we can at least get some consumable gain every four rooms. I mean, we'll spend a bomb, but we have so many that it doesn't matter. It's a little bit like using a Justice card every four rooms, honestly. Now, with the amount of keys that we have, you might be saying, why not take Mom's Pearl? Well, the answer to that question for me right now is pretty simple. Blow this guy up. Um, I I really don't feel the need to use Mom's Pearl because we're already killing it with respect to Spirit Hearts. So I am thinking that instead uh, we will stick with what we've got going on right now, just in case we end up being able to make good use of a key beggar a little bit later on on the on the chest, for example. So that that would save me from having to open golden chests. I'd still have to spend keys on the key beggar in the first place, but whatever. That's still totally fine. One more, I think. Yeah, maybe two. No, there, there are two. All right, that's going to do it. All right, got to scratch my nose. Let's do this. We're going to be going up against Mr. Fred. As predicted, that doesn't really make me a genius or anything like that. It just makes me someone who has played, you know, the womb on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth before. Mr. Fred is a very common boss. Torn Photo is awesome. I'm amazed that we're not going to have to do a Krampus fight. I mean, in a way, why not, I guess? Oh, we, we created a key beggar. Okay, I don't know how I like this this early, but we'll 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 test it because we're already winning so hard. We'll just go until we get down to four keys, and we'll see if we can pick up maybe some amazing uh, deal with the devil items as a result of this key beggar. Like all those are being opened for free. We're not wasting that many keys in the process here, and we got mom's key. That's actually really awesome. <laughs> Mom's key is going to make golden chests even better for us in the future, so... I mean, we don't have too many floors really left where we can take advantage of it, but still. In fact, I might want to go back and just see if... Excuse me? <laughs> I might want to go back and see if there's another key beggar in that uh, arcade, just to... You know... Maybe try that again, because we're already at 18 keys. Could be more, but... You know, we're blowing up a lot of judgments in the process as well. Well, at least we had that. That's a little bit of an interesting turn of events for us. I didn't know, actually, or at least I, I didn't remember... Well, we might as well just throw one of them down, honestly. I didn't remember that a key beggar could actually give you mom's key, but that's a surprisingly good item. Don't want it. Ah, we might as well take it. But it would ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility. That doesn't matter. I'd rather take it and then have the opportunity to, I don't know, do something with it. Maybe we can do something clever with our demon judgments or something. I don't know. All right, we don't have any demon judgments. So this is, it's a stupid idea because it is going to ruin Horror of Babylon, but... Or not ruin Horror of Babylon, sorry. Ruin our uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Similar, but different. 
And maybe that takes one HP upgrade out of the pool, making it infinitesimally more likely that we don't get an HP upgrade from this Demon Judgment. I don't know. I'm just fucking around at this point. The win is relatively spoken for. I'm not going to pick up that Eternal Heart if I can avoid it, at least. Another key. I mean, I don't mind it, for sure. Okay. You're, you're lucky. I like you, Judgment. That's why I'm going to kill you last. But this Judgment, unfortunately, is not going to be so lucky. We're already at the HP cap. We need the Penny. Thank you. All right. We're going to focus our efforts on that judgment. I don't think he's any more or less likely to pay out than another one, but, you know, we've already started his kind of train, so we might as well just roll with it, is my philosophy. Well, one day, he'll pay out, or he won't, and then we'll leave and we'll win the run anyway, and it won't make any difference altogether. Extra key. What do you think? I don't think this will be our boss fight down here. It's just a little too convenient. No tinted rocks. I'm not really being that diligent, admittedly, about looking for tinted rocks. Locked down. That's a great pill. But I'm not being that diligent about looking for tinted rocks because I kind of just don't care. Oh, so this is like the worst possible way to use the demon judgment. I was like, at least I'll get the uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility out of the demon judgment. No, no, no. I get no permanent Polaroid invincibility. Is that a tinted rock right, right there? Where? What room were we just in? What is even happening? You know what? Fuck you, Curse of the Maze. I'm out. And fuck you, Other Judgment. I'm out. We didn't come in here with as many flies as we normally would, which would make it so that Mom's heart pretty much died instantly. But we relatively instantly managed to make that happen. This run is its just over, honestly. How do you like your eggs, sir? Oh, over honestly, please. I guess we're going top right here, so there's no way of getting around this room. But, truth be told, I don't mind this room because death is not that bad when you're doing a lot of damage. I hope that still hits. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was great. Again, Mom's Key is... I wish it showed up more often. It's not necessarily rare, but that doesn't mean I didn't wish or I don't wish it shows up more often. Uh, it's it's so good and it's so much fun. Basically, it's like it takes the guesswork out of a golden chest. If you have mom's key and you only have one key, uh, and you haven't gone to your item room or your shop, you can still be feel reasonably confident opening up a golden chest and being like, you know what? It might not work out for me, but the odds are so good that I can't say no. Usually, it'll give you money and a key in return, and then a, a just a you know party pack of of all sorts of other shit. Tears down. You know this run's been tough, guys. We haven't had a very good pill rotation. Yeah, I know we can fly, we have Magic Mushroom, we have Whore of Babylon, a bunch of damage upgrades, yeah, we're guppy. Sure, we got all that shit going for us. But dude, the, the pills have been slightly subpar. We do have enough money to maybe make um, use of this Judgment, but I'm going to wait till the next floor. Just in case the Judgment pays out with, it, maybe it's like a Key Beggar and it pays out with Treasure Chests, I want to be sure that they are chests. It's probably just going to be... You know, ye old regular uh, judgment, though. And if it's a demon judgment, we could choose to maybe pick up some HP if we get it out of the the normal chests, and you know, roll from it from there. But very stupid play on my part there. But we are down to the next floor, and again, there, there's no threat here on this run. We basically just have to enjoy ourselves. Ah, the ultimate threat: self fulfillment. Well, uh, Virgo's pretty good. Little Chubb is pretty good. Little Steven is an item that exists. It is a key beggar, so now I feel completely vindicated. Start paying out with some treasure chests, man. Each one of these, except for red chests, I think, are going to be real items. There's x-ray specs. Don't mind if I do. Maybe find another one of the key beggars on the secret room. It's another golden chest. We got a mystery sack. How about this one? What do you got for me, dog? Work with me here. Another one. Telepathy for dummies. A little bit off your game, I'm going to be honest with you. That item is pretty shitty. Red chest. It is spirit hearts. I respect that, even though I probably will not need them. Red chest. Two pills. I'm going to have to imagine. Ah, that one's actually pretty good. I was going to imagine that they sucked, but hey, good, good job. How to jump. A lot of people really like it. I don't understand it. That's on me, though. 
So we're gonna take blank card with us, and if we have to blow up, um, if we have to blow up our judgments to get more keys for the key judgment, fine by me, man. It's the only thing we have to spend keys on on this floor because we still do have Master of Unlocking. So we didn't, <laughs> for all the chests that we got there, we didn't really pick up that much, but oh well, you know it's a living, sort of. There's our secret room, We're trying to kill Sloth last for the tarot card potential. Empress, eh, probably not worth it. Greed fights, no keys. But, we'll pop down, uh, Judgment, it's a demon judgment. <sighs> it's a bit of a weird one. I would like to play the demon judgment, which is why I did not explode him. We'll give that to the key beggar, but we might as well gain as many keys as we can before we go down that road, you know? That's my thinking. I don't know, maybe we... It doesn't really matter who we kill last, is I guess what I'm trying to draw from there. There's our second secret room. I wonder if we got an eternal heart, if I could actually play that demon judgment. I mean, I, I could only do it once without getting hit. Maybe I should just play the demon judgment anyway, but it, it feels shitty trying to play the demon judgment without having... Come on now. Without having um, any permanent Polaroid invincibility. It's just kind of a waste, you know? We got a regular beggar here, which is the kind of thing that I was more interested in. I don't really want the HP, but... If you want to give me uh, <laughs> that, we might consider it and then go use it on our uh, Demon Judgment. Like, our permanent Polaroid invincibility already does not exist, so... Is there like a half heart somewhere we can use to exploit this? Yes, there is. Okay, well now I feel less bad about it. We're gonna come in here, play you once, uh, twice if we can. Oh, we got Virgo invincibility here anyway. That lasts a decently long time. Paid out with his speed plus range upgrade. Eh, it's pretty weak, but we can live with it. And we got five more keys, maybe even more after this fight here, but we got five more keys that we can uh, afford to spend on our key beggar. Hopefully he uh, provides some value. I don't really want him to pay out. I want him to exist forever here. Maybe a, a few less red chests would be nice, but I'm not going to complain too hard about that. Hey, pay that with BBF. BBF's a good item. I think we're just gonna finish the run, honestly. I'll throw this guy down and we'll play him again, but I think we're gonna finish the run here. We got Blue Baby. Uh, we don't need any more pretenses. Let's just finish it. It's been a weird one. Not as weird as some other ones, but, well, credit card doesn't really do anything for us. Not this late, anyway. Well, there's another key. It's been a fun run, is mostly what the, my, my take-home message is. I don't really care about our HP because the odds are relatively amazing that we get through the blue baby fight without getting hit anyway. Sure, we don't need Master of Unlocking. Give us Bible Tract for no reason. And then on our uh, blue baby fight, we'll be done before we even really know what's up, to be honest with you. Already about, you know, 75-80% of the way there. Every barrage of Brimstone... We summon like a hundred flies. Yeah, it's it's over. That was a great run though. I hope you had a fun time on it. I did. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.